You pull off the look better than I do, I must say. Oh my god! Is that real? I'm like dumbfounded. This is so cool. Hi, I'm Lily Reinhardt, and today I'm fact checking makeup tutorials. This is my regular Betty look for season one, which was a little more natural than season two, although probably no one noticed except me and the makeup artist. Hey everyone, it's Betty. Welcome back to my channel. Just kidding, it's Brittany. Today's video is a Betty Cooper from Riverdale makeup tutorial. I like her dedication to the outfit. For the rest of my face, I'm using the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Betty's skin is like flawless and she definitely doesn't need a lot of coverage and never looks cakey, so I decided this would be a perfect product to use. And then I will be setting it all in place with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder. She doesn't usually have super dewy looking skin, but it also isn't completely matte either. Our makeup artist on the show is really wonderful at finding a happy medium with all of our skin tones and all of our just our skin in general. I'm a big fan of a makeup sponge beauty blender when I apply foundation, so she, she got that right. So I'm going into the crease with cover, and this is just going to add a little bit more depth. She kind of usually does have like a medium, kind of warm toned brown or cool tone in the crease of her eye and a little bit on the outer corner. So she's definitely on point with Betty's eyeshadow. We stuck to a lot of taupes and natural kind of creamy colors with more definition in, in the crease. The makeup artist and I decided to switch up Betty's eye makeup every episode, but no one ever noticed and that's fine because it was just a matter of switching different palettes and trying different things and like the slightest different variation of shades, but she's pretty on point. And then on her lash line, I noticed that she has a kind of darker smoky liner but it's not very harsh it's just kind of giving a little definition to her lash line we also used a brown eyeliner on the top of my eyelid my makeup artist erin mckenzie the head of makeup for riverdale season one and two i love her she used then a, a brown eyeshadow and went in and kind of smudged it out a little bit. She knows her stuff. She's she's doing good. And now I'm going to apply my half lashes. I'm using 318s from Ardell. So I don't personally use fake eyelashes as Betty on the show, but I think I understand that she wants to use it to make her eyes look a little bit more doe-eyed. For my lip color, I used a lip pencil from The Body Shop. It's kind of like a natural rosy lip color. And then on top of that, I I decided to use a lip gloss from Too Faced, but it was a little peachy. This is the one that I used. It's the pinkest one that I had. So for Betty's lips, we usually just use a lipstick that's kind of smudged out with maybe some chapstick over it. I like to play with lip colors that are very close to my natural lip color. So kind of in the, the rosy tones, unless she's going on a date with Trevor or going on a date where that picture is based off of at the beginning of the tutorial Betty's lips are naturally pretty just like rosy and and natural So that's it for my Betty Cooper from Riverdale inspired makeup tutorial Hi Brittany, it's Lily. I just had the pleasure of watching your Betty Cooper makeup tutorial and I thought it was really wonderful. You're very beautiful, you have such beautiful skin. I also love to use a beauty blender when applying foundation and concealer and you're also very spot on with the eye colors, you know, just the taupe and, and the eyeliner right on the lash line. I give you a 10 out of 10, girl. That was, that was great. This is my regular Betty look for season one. Hey everyone, it's Betty. I like her dedication. Oh my to that gosh, outfit. she saw Thank it. You. She doesn't usually have super dewy looking skin, but it also isn't completely matte. I'm a big fan of a makeup sponge beauty blender when I apply foundation, so she she got that right. Oh my god, that. this is so cool. And then on her lash line, I noticed that she has a kind of darker smoky liner. She knows her stuff. She's she's doing good. <gasps> Oh, I love this. Hi, Brittany, it's oh. Lily. I just had the pleasure of watching your Betty Cooper makeup tutorial. I give you a 10 out of 10, girl. That was that was great. That's actually the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this was like honestly the last thing I was expecting for today. That was really, really cool. Thank you so much for your kind words to me. And I'm kind of speechless because that was so cool. Like I never ever would have thought this would have actually happened. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh boy. 
This is the dark Betty look with a black wig and, and red lips. That's all I gotta say about that. So I guess we'll take a look. Then it does also look like she's got um, sort of like a little bit of a winged liner. She is right. I did have the tiniest little flick of black liner and very, very little contour. I, I think because we had a darker eye and a red lip, we didn't really need to mess around with the skin too much. So it was kind of natural skin and more focused on the eyes and lip. She's wearing like a glossy kind of red lipstick. And I think the closest color that I have is the um, Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lip. We definitely tried a lot of them out beforehand because I don't necessarily like red on my lips. So I was struggling with that a little bit. I think wearing just a dark lip color in general can feel very empowering and, and sexy and, and also just kind of can completely change your mood. I know that when I have, you know, a full face of makeup and I feel really really good about the way I look. You're gonna feel more confident and more sexy. For lashes, I'm going to be using these EXO Beauty lashes. They're sort of thicker on the outside. I did use just a couple of individual lashes for this look. I never use strip lashes, but just, just a little bit, just to give an extra oomph. I went and put some contacts on, probably almost too blue. I have green eyes, but it's all right. I just searched um, flapper wig on Google and this came up. I bought it on eBay. It's also not the best wig. It's not as Betty-like. Trust me, the wig that we used is not the best wig either. I don't know where it was from. Probably a Halloween store. I mean, I always feel uncomfortable when I'm wearing it on set. People don't really, they're like, who is this girl? And then they're like, oh, it's just her and her crazy wig. I think we are laying the wig to rest. I'm really hoping. I hope you liked my finished Betty look. Hi Bronte, I just watched your YouTube tutorial of Dark Betty. First of all, you're gorgeous. I thought it was very beautiful and also a look that you could just wear, not your everyday look, but something you could wear going out if you like a red lip and kind of a sexy eye. You pull off the look better than I do, I must say. You look great, girl. As you can tell by the title, I'm doing Vidal Dark Betty inspired oh, Halloween. It does also look like she's got um, sort of like a little bit of a winged liner. She is right. I oh did have God. the tiniest little I can't believe that. I actually can't liner. believe that. It's not as Betty-like as I thought it would be. Trust me, the wig that we used for me was not the best wig <laughs> either. I don't know where it was from. I, I really don't know. Probably a Halloween store. I can't even deal that she's even seen this video. I hope you liked my finished Betty look. I feel a little bit dominatrix. I did. Hi Bronte. I just watched your YouTube tutorial of Dark Betty. It is easy to feel like a dominatrix when you have a collar on and a, and a wig and some red <laughs> lips, but, but you look great, girl. Oh, I can't even deal. That's crazy. I don't even know what to say. Lily, while I sit here in my big fluffy robe, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope I did duck uh, Betty Proud, although there's no Dark Betty quite like you, so thank you. This look is one of my favorite looks by makeup artist Adam Bruchard. It was my Met Gala look for this year. I wanted to do something more bold with my makeup than I usually do for the matte because it's the matte. I obviously wanted to tie in the colors from my dress. So before we even started getting ready, we were just playing around with colors. He was putting it on his hand and we were looking at how it reflected in the light. And it was, it was a really fun look to create. Hello everybody, it's me, Lily May, and in this week's video, I'm gonna be recreating Lily Reinhardt's Met Gala makeup look. I don't really know what to do because in some pictures, the green in that crease looks shimmery, but then in other pictures, it looks matte. Pretty much every shadow that we used was very shimmery. We didn't use any matte. I think we just started off with a Urban Decay eye primer and primed the lid, and then we just went right in with the silver. The shades down here look closer to the colour in her crease than the matte ones do, so I think I'm just gonna go for a shimmer because she's a shimmer girl, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the, the compliment that I'm a shimmer kind of girl. I, I think you are as well. So for the shimmer on the eyelids, I can't really choose an eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna use my Sleek Solstice palette and use this shade down here. So it's kind of tricky because I actually used a bunch of different colors. We used a silver and also went back in with a metallic gold. So we used a bit of both, but mainly silver. 
Now I'm going to use my Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette, which I used earlier for the shimmer. I'm going to mix these two shades together. I think we used more of a iridescent one. It wasn't gold or silver. It was just kind of a regular one. But we didn't want to add too much highlight on my face because my eyes were so dramatic. I had so much fun recreating this look of Lily because I love her so, so much. Hi, May. I just watched your YouTube tutorial on my Met Gala look and you're so cute and beautiful. Your skin is gorgeous. I think you did a really good job. You're so spunky and funny and thank you for recreating my look. I'm very flattered. Hello everybody, it's me, Lily May, and in this video, I'm going to be recreating the Lily Reinhardt Met Gala makeup look. I think I'm just going to go for a shimmer because she's a shimmer girl, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate the, the compliment that I'm a shimmer girl kind of girl. Oh my I, god, this is crazy. I think you are as well. I had so much fun recreating this look of Lily because I love her so, so much. Obviously, I don't know her personally. I wish I did. Hi, May. I just watched your YouTube tutorial on my Met Gala look and you're so cute and beautiful. No your way. skin is gorgeous. And I think you and I would get along great. And I love your accent and you're so spunky That's and funny. Amazing. And thank you for recreating my look. I'm very flattered. Oh my god, that is incredible. I just, I love her so much. I can't believe that. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so sorry. I just, I just don't know what to say. Oh my God, thank you so much for watching. I'm such a huge fan. I just can't get over it. <laughs> I can't believe that. This look I wore for a whole day of press I had in LA and I got ready super early in the morning. I was incredibly tired, so let's see. For today's video, I'm going to be doing this look here, which is my Lily Reinhardt inspired makeup tutorial. So this one's gonna be a pretty easy tutorial with minimal products just because I wanna keep it minimal just like she always does. I actually that day remember wearing a lot more foundation than I usually do. When my makeup was getting done, I wasn't really paying attention because I was like half asleep it was like seven in the morning. So I usually don't wear as heavy a foundation, but I'm glad that she didn't think it looked too heavy. The Kate Powderless Liquid for Cover Foundation in OCD. I'm just gonna be using that on a cushion puff today. I have never used a cushion puff to apply foundation. I have troublesome skin. Her skin seems quite flawless, as do all of these girls. So I'm sure it's very easy for them to apply. Now, Lily's eyebrows look <laughs> to be a lot thinner than mine and a little bit more arched. Taking a spoolie brush. Well, this is actually the end of a different brow product. I always think it's so amazing when people change their eyebrow shape to match someone that they're doing a tutorial on. I find that very impressive. So kudos for that. I fill in my brows very lightly. I pluck them myself. I don't get them waxed. They're pretty easily manageable. Personally, I'm not a fan of really heavy eyebrows, like really obviously filled in. Me either. I'm going to take this color right here and uh, lightly contour around my cheekbone area because her cheekbones are higher than mine. I feel like she'd be really good at special effects makeup. She's very good at mimicking facial features that she doesn't have and that's really impressive. I love special effects makeup and I love doing looks based off of characters and other people. I don't practice too much these days, but I need it. This is inspiring me to get back into it. For my gloss today, I'm just gonna be taking this Sigma Lip Switch Flip Flop, which is kind of a warmer toned holographic lip gloss, but if you apply a really small amount, it just acts as a normal gloss. I actually remember using a specific Chanel lip gloss for this look that I really loved. So she's got the mixture of the little orange and the pink in there, which is good. This is it for my Lily Reinhardt inspired look. <laughs> Hi Bronwyn, I just finished watching your makeup tutorial. I'm very impressed that you picked all that up from that little picture. Every video that I've watched, these people have beautiful skin. I'm very jealous and I appreciate you being inspired by my makeup look. So this one's gonna be a pretty easy <laughs> tutorial with minimal products just because I wanna keep it minimal just like she always does. Glad that she didn't think it looked too heavy. <laughs> 
It definitely didn't look heavy, that's for sure. Taking a spoolie brush, but it has a really nice spoolie on it. I always think it's so amazing when people change their eyebrow shape to match someone that they're doing a tutorial on. I find that very impressive, so kudos for that. It's so nice. Hi, Bronwyn. I just finished watching your makeup tutorial. I'm very impressed that you picked all that up from that little picture. Great job. You're very beautiful. That was so sweet of her. She said so many nice things. She seems super down to earth and chill. I really appreciate her kind comments. I definitely did not expect her to see that video. I'm like dumbfounded. I think I'm still just more or less speechless that like a celebrity actually watched my video and responded to it overall. Like I just don't know what to say. <laughs> I feel so like bashful, but very honored that you guys are taking the time to make makeup tutorials based off of looks that I've had and that I've done. It's, it's very sweet and very flattering. And I think I'm gonna go home tonight and watch a bunch more of them because I really enjoyed it. Thank you guys for doing that. It's very sweet and you all are very beautiful and I'm very happy I got to, I got to find your videos today.